Hey guys, topic of the day is the goddamn hashtags. <laughs> so we've gone to the Justin Bieber Twitter page because Twitter's where all this nonsense started. Twitter encouraged people to put hashtags on their relevant words so that the metadata thing would link them all together. Hey, look at that, Justin Bieber masturbating in jail. Don't want to know about that. But yeah, apparently that was the idea, Twitter's idea. And obviously Twitter did it because they wanted to try and get people spending more time on Twitter, right? So it's all, again, it's all driven by money originally. And then people click on the topic that they're interested in like that, and it shows you all the other similar links. So again, driven by money. Um, here's another website driven by money that explains the hashtag thing that was driven by money. <laughs> I'm not complaining. The the capitalism is why we have all these amazing things that we have. You know, if there wasn't money involved, we wouldn't have the internet and all these other great tools. So that isn't a complaint. It's just an observation of the truth, isn't it? Observation of the fact that all these things are originally developed for money. Twitter encouraged that because they knew that they could make more money if people spent more time on their website, and it's, of course it's worked. So, and then other people jumped on the boat. The reason that um, made this video is because I'm sick of hashtags already, but also because so many people seem to be using them but not really getting the point. So it's sort of seeped out of Twitter onto other websites as well, including YouTube, and people have started to use it in their titles of YouTube. But the silly thing is that where they use it outside Twitter in places like this, it's going to be a self-perpetuating monster. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I find it really annoying. I get sick of the hashtag thing. It's just, you know, it's being overly done. And, and people are using it on their own Facebook pages and things like that. I went to a barbecue on the weekend. I went to a hashtag barbecue on the weekend. As if they're hoping that their barbecue on the weekend is going to show up in a in a Google search or... You know, that people might click on that post to see other people who had barbecues on the weekend or something. So it's sort of ridiculous, really, because before the hashtag thing, Sochi Fail would have been a meme that would have ended up showing up in Google searches anyway. But now, because they've perpetuated the hashtag, everybody's using hashtags. That's what gets used to show up in Google. So it's just silly. Look at this one. There's RT's byline at the bottom of the page. And they've got hashtag Kiev, hashtag Korea. It's not clickable. <laughs> What's the point? It's not clickable. And as if Kiev and Crimea would have been Googleable before hashtags were invented or before hashtags were used for metadata. So uh, it's like, uh, it's another one of those things where people are blindly using it without knowing why. And it's going to perpetuate it to the point where it's going to become part of the whole thing, isn't it? So, I don't know, call me a grumpy old man, but I'm just sick of shit like this that people jump on without thinking about, you know? Twitter did it to make money, but now it's seeped out, and now people are doing it without knowing why. Why would you put it... I see it all the time on Facebook. Friends putting it on their, you know, hashtag barbecue. What? <laughs> Clowns? Think about it. What are you doing? Anyway, <clears throat> what do you guys think of the, of the um, hashtags? More videos coming soon. <laughs>